by Chris Martin 11 hours ago Overwatch is the latest game from gaming behemoth Blizzard, which has made titles including World of Warcraft, Starcraft, and Hearthstone. The game's been out for ages now, but Blizzard is still regularly releasing free updates to keep the game's community engaged. Here's everything you need to know about the game, including the latest news and rumors about deals, new heroes and maps, and seasonal events. And if you want to know what we thought of the game, read our full Overwatch review. When was the Overwatch release date? After months of waiting, Overwatch was released on the 24th of May 2016. What platforms is Overwatch on? Overwatch is available for PC, PS4 and Xbox One. How much does Overwatch cost in the UK? Digital editions of Overwatch Origins are available from the PlayStation Store and Xbox Store at £54.99 and and from Battle.net for PC at £29.99 and standard, or £49.99 and GOTY. You can also buy Overwatch Origins from various online retailers. The best deal we found was at Amazon for £26, to mark the game's one-year anniversary. Blizzard is also releasing a Game of the Year edition of Overwatch which will be available digital only from the 23rd of May 2017. It's a bit of an odd GOTY edition though, as most of the bonus goodies are for other Blizzard games. Within Overwatch itself, you'll get 10 free loot boxes and a handful of hero skins. Elsewhere though, you get to play as Tracer in Heroes of the Storm, can have a baby Winston pet in World of Warcraft, can equip Mercy's wings in Diablo 3, and get Overwatch portraits for Starcraft 2 and card backs for Hearthstone. Who are the playable heroes with 21 characters or heroes at launch and two more added since, Overwatch has a similar feel to a mobile like Heroes of the Storm. Rather than simply picking a different skin, you yeah, will be able to play a character which suits your style. Here's the full Overwatch characters list Anna Bastion DVA Doomfist Genji Hanzo Junkrat Lucio McCree May Mercy Orissa Fara Reaper Reinhard Roadhog Soldier 76 Sombra Symmetra Torbjorn Tracer Widowmaker Winston Zari as in Yada What's new in Overwatch maps Overwatch is regularly being updated with new maps and heroes, and the latest addition is Junker Town. It's an escort map located in the Australian Outback. Blizzard says it is constructed from the remains of a destroyed Omnium, it's now the home to a band of lawless scavengers known as the Junkers, led by their cutthroat queen. When they aren't pillaging the Omnium skeleton for anything of value, the Junkers blow off steam in the scrapyard, a massive gladiatorial arena whose combatants fight for glory, riches, dot and to survive. Here's a brief look at the map game modes the latest game mode to be added to Overwatch Deathmatch, while Blizzard has long said it's only interested in objective-based game modes for Overwatch, it's changed its tune by announcing the introduction of Deathmatch and Team Deathmatch modes within the arcade, along with a new map to play them on Chateau Gillard. Deathmatch is an 8-player free for all where the first player to 20 points wins. A kill earns you a point, while dying from environmental or self-inflicted damage subtracts 1. Team Deathmatch is 6-6 and uses the same point system, with one wrinkle if a dead player is resurrected before they respawn, the opponents don't get the point. While Blizzard DID and T reveal any other game modes at BlizzCon 2017, Overwatch's lead software engineer Timothy Ford hinted at the arrival of new game modes in the future. Speaking to trusted reviews, Ford is excited about what's coming in the next year, very recently we unlocked a pretty important piece of technology that allowed us to make game modes much faster. And that kicked off with Halloween last year but now we've hit our stride where we have, we're able to iterate and experiment with a bunch of game modes at a much faster clip. It's gonna be an exciting year I think. Characters BlizzCon 2017 focused on more than just upcoming game modes for Overwatch in fact, the company teased a new character headed to the game soon, the character, Moira, is a support hero that is capable of healing allies and dealing damage at the same time. There's no word yet on when she's likely to join the game, but you can check out her skills in the reveal trailer below. Tags share this article Xbox One X review Oliver Jeffers reflects on his unapologetically sentimental new children's book where, to get the best iPhone X deals comment and primer dip one smartphone at tablet.